Welcome, nerds, to another episode of The Shout Out Show. That's right, this is where if you are a new subscriber or you have recently left a comment on anything over the span of any of the channels or on the social medias and whatnot and what have you, then this is the place where I can respond to you directly in front of, you know, the crowd of your peers, if you will. <laughs> that being said, we have some shout outs to do, some new subscribers. Honestly, I did see some on the Twitter and on the Instagram. I didn't get them this week. I will get to you guys next week, I promise. But over on the main YouTube page, we have uh, also on the YouTube stuff, if you have your settings set to private, I cannot see you when you subscribe. I can see the number go up, but I cannot see your name. So if you want you know, to join the shout out show, you want to join this conversation, then leave a comment on something and we'll talk. Uh, that being said though, uh, on the main YouTube channel, Fork Truck Bill is a new subscriber as well as NC80. Thank you very much, nerds, for the subscriptions over on the secondary channel, the Nerd News Clips channel, where you're probably watching this right now. We have, again, Fork Truck Bill. That's right. Thank you very much, nerd. Uh, and Ted Word are the new <laughs> are the new subscribers with their settings uh, set to public, so I can see that they have, you know, done the thing. So thank you very much, nerds. If you want to, again, join, then... Just subscribe. That's all it is. You just click a button, subscribe, do the thing. Uh, all right, so we have comments to address. Uh, reaction video that went up a couple weeks ago is getting a little bit of traction. That reaction video is Metallica's Screaming Suicide. It wasn't a proper reaction video. It was one of the shorty, uh, quickie reactions that are kind of reaction review situations. Uh, first one comes from uh, Batouche. Interesting name, sir. Batouche says, I mean, of course, everyone hears music differently and you have to have your own view, tastes, and favorites, but quote, better than anything off the previous record, unquote, bruh. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> Hardwired to self-destruct. We've, we've, we've had this conversation, I believe, at least once before. Hardwired to self-destruct. Sounds like James Hetfield did not want to sing on that record. Every song on that record is James just, ugh, what are the lyrics again? All right, I guess I'll sing them now. Like it's, it's, there is no soul behind the, any of the words, Atlas, rise. Yeah, I just, I don't believe you, James. I don't. On the, what we've heard from 70, 72 seasons so far, absolutely believe it. Absolutely think that he wants to make music again. This is invigorating the, 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 emphasis and the emotion that he's putting into these lyrics. Yes, I 100% stand by that statement. Better than anything off of Hardwired to self-destruct. Uh, next, on the same video, we have Joshua Jensen. Joshua Jen Jensen says, this song was better than Lux. Referring to, of course, Lux Eterna. Uh, I, I can't agree with that. <laughs> I, I believe that the solo is better on Screaming Suicide than on Lux Eterna, but I think that's the only part of it that is better. I think overall, as a whole, Lux Eterna is a much more solid and invigorating song. Uh, and then we have a, a little wordy, uh, a little wordy comment from a, a man named Javier Martinez Jr. Uh, Javier says, and, and I, I agree with this, so I'm, I'm not trying to disparage him for being long-winded, because I mean. Hi, have we met? Um, yeah, so he, he, Javier says, I heard the name, I just couldn't help but think of Chester from Linkin Park. R.I.P., I know. I'm a get guillotined for this, but really love that sound they went for on Saint Anger. Sonically, it wasn't the most fluid, but it had that Northern Cali, uh, we're all on stimulants playing in a garage type of sound. It didn't have the classical Hollywood studio sounds. I know that was by design. It was really overlooked, IMO. So I agree with the sentiment of that statement. I think that the songs on the Saint Anger record, uh, by and large, not, not all of them, but by and large, those songs are underappreciated because of the piss poor quality of Saint Anger. The recording quality of that record is a joke. It is so bad. It is so, so bad. Uh, there's there's ba some back and forth I've heard, and honestly, the, the, the 
text conversations that we're having in the, com the comment section of this video specifically right now uh, referred to this directly. There are the conspiracy theories that I heard at the time, even when this record came out, that when St. Anger came out, uh, that they did it on purpose because it felt more punk rock to do this, you know, super stripped down sound, but it just did not pan out at all. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I've, I've heard these things and I believe to some degree that, yeah, that's exactly what they were trying to do. I just feel like what they heard in their head and what came out on tape, two very different things. <laughs> uh, what else we got? What else we got? I think... I think that's everything. I think that's all of the, the that's, that is the shout out show, nerds. Uh, again, if you want to interact, if you want to be part of the shout out show, all you got to do is subscribe or comment, interact with anything on the social medias or very specifically in the YouTube or uh, Rumble uh, comment sections because we are on the Rumble. So definitely go check it out there if you are opposed to the YouTubes. Thank you very much, nerds, for sticking around. Thank you uh, for joining the conversation. We will see you in the next one. Before we go, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>